nice to be back. Obviously, came back last time to see uh, to play in the Chairman's Challenge, which was uh, really good, interesting, uh, very enjoyable, and uh, raised a bit of money on the night for the youth team. So it was great. What was it like playing at Blundell Park again? Yeah, it was nice. Um, excited to be back. Actually, obviously, a long time since I've been back and actually played. Obviously, I've been back a few times to see a few games, but uh, to actually go out and play it was nice to get back out on the pitch. Apart from Wembley, obviously, what was your most abiding memory of playing at Blundell Park? Um, Fulham. Second leg playoffs, without a shadow of a doubt, with the atmosphere. Um, obviously, uh, having to beat the big boys, as uh, so to speak, in Fulham and Kevin Keegan's boys. But just the uh, just the atmosphere, especially when the goal went in from the crowd and obviously the players as well. So that's um, my best memory. At he, won't, back. he wasn't very happy that night, Kevin Keegan, was he? No, not at all. I think he expected to come here, sort of steamrollers. But um, unfortunately, not many teams do that when they come to this place. What's your best goal you've scored for us? Um, the one that I think um, probably technically the best one was Northampton at home here during the league, uh, playing in that league season 97-98. Uh, obviously the most memorable one um, has got to be the Wembley one. What was it like scoring that goal at Wembley? Um, fantastic, every player's dream, every boy's dream to go and actually play at Wembley, but to actually go and score at Wembley is uh, it's a dream come true and then obviously to take it up to the next division as well is fantastic. And you missed a penalty that day as well? Yeah, what was, what was thanks that for like? reminding me. <laughs> um, it was just one of those things, tense, I picked my spot, um, unfortunately the keeper picked the same spot that I went, um, but luckily it wasn't uh, something that decided the game. Yeah, and you could forget, forget about that after the game, couldn't you? Well, yeah, it keeps getting brought up though. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, and then when you left Grimsby, where did you go then? Um, I left and went to play for Barnsley. I got a uh, Bosman free transfer over to Barnsley for um, I signed for four years. That didn't quite work out, um, and then just had a, a little bit of time over at Rochdale and finished over at York. And you're here today to see the Grimsby Town v Huddersfield game. Uh, you've got an allegiance with both teams. Yeah, started my career at Huddersfield as a kid all the way through. Um, started at sort of under nines, under tens, right through, and left at 20 year old. And obviously I've got a massive allegiance and uh, that's where my loyalties lie on today, Lee the Grimsby. We used to be obviously playing the same league quite often, now there's a, a massive gap in there. There is, times have changed, um, obviously things have gone over the last few years, um, but hopefully one day uh, we can get this club back up where they belong. Tell us what you do nowadays. I'm coaching now over at college, at Kirklees College in Huddersfield, so that's my full-time job during the week. Um, I do a lot of freelance coaching and do a lot of coaching for uh, local kids in the area of Huddersfield and Brighouse where, I, uh, where I'm living now. You obviously stayed in football and you enjoy that? Yeah, love it. It's my life. Um, it's what I do, it's what I know and uh, if I can give something back to the kids, it's great. Do you still watch the results for Al Grimsby Town? Yeah, all the time. Keep uh, keep an eye out and uh, and see how they're doing. And uh, as I say, they're doing really well this season. So hopefully, fingers crossed, get out of this league. What What do you tell your kids about your time at Grimsby Town? Um, that it was most enjoyable. Probably one of the most enjoyable times I had in my career. Um, it's not many times you get a chance to play at Wembley. Um, fantastic club. Um, I think probably punching above his weight with where we were in the championship, but holding his own there. Um, and just literally all good memories, no bad memories of this place at all. We played some terrific football that time, didn't we? Yeah, and that was Alan. Uh, obviously down to his stamp and the way he wanted to play football. Um, pass and move, which is obviously the book that he brought out as well. It's just, um, it was a joy to play in and that's, um, and that's what he wanted to do, was play football. What did you make of Alan as a manager? Um, it was a good manager, uh, direct, honest, um, I think the biggest thing was everybody knew what he wanted to do when he was going out on the football field, so he was in, left in no circumstances of not knowing what to do, you knew what to do, you knew your job, um, and his gentleman as well. Did you still think he was a good manager when he had you back on a Sunday morning running? No, I mean, that was different then. I mean, there were plenty of times we used to come back on a Sunday, um, obviously your opinion changed then for that morning, but uh, all in all, he's a top man.